Hello and welcome to another episode of Adulting Without Supervision and my workshop. Today we're going to be doing a unboxing and a review of this ethereal ozone generator. Uh, for those who care, the model number is the MA10K-ProSmart. I've not had a lot of experience with ozone generators, but supposedly what they do is they make the air a little bit fresher, help with mold and pests and what have you. Um, we might be able to get into some of that as I do a little bit more research, but basically what we're going to be doing is looking at what came in the box and see if it does what it claims on the paperwork. So let's get started. I'm going to take this over to the overhead camera. I'm seeing transition later and we are now over at the overhead camera place. We are going to open this up and like normal, I've come unprepared for my own video and project. So we're going to open that up with a screwdriver instead of a knife. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? A cereal. Oh, we got some quick instructions. Pause that video to read them, but basically they got little cute little peoples. It says, do some cleaning to remove the source of the odor. Set timer for treatment and adjust based on room size. Stay outside of the room being ozoned. Apparently, people don't uh, do well in a room that's 100% ozone instead of oxygen. Open doors and windows to allow ventilation for at least one hour before returning to the room. Okay, that's a simple guide. How does ozone work? Ozone, or O3, is a powerful sterilizer. When odors, bacteria, or viruses meet ozone, oxidation reactions occur and both parties are destroyed. Ozone essentially reverts back to oxygen. Okay. I'm going to have to look that up later because that sounds uh, almost literally magical. All right. Uh, car interior, washroom, kitchen and laundry, office, bedroom, living room, garage. Just get people out of there before you do it. Interesting. Oh, and they come as little stickers, so you can apply that to your uh, kit if you want to actually have that reminder on your piece of uh, equipment. And you got this for your doors to remind yourself that ozone sanitation is in progress, so people don't go in there on accident. And this has a ozone sanitized certifi certification sticker you can put where you did, so not only as a reminder, but as a, hey, Look, we're going above and beyond for cleanliness. Uh, thank you, warranty card. Very nice. If you like warranties, I normally don't care about them. I normally abuse my equipment and then forget about them for three years and then abuse them again and when they finally break. I buy a new one because I'm assuming that's the result of the ADHD not letting me, you know, deal with paperwork like a normal human. User manual. All right. That takes about 110 watts, so that's not too bad. Doesn't look too complicated overall. You can pause the screen and hopefully be able to read this with the current camera. I'm uh, currently looking into getting a new one, so wish me luck on that. And it's got a little troubleshooting guide for problems. It's got a little a couple of filters in there you need to clean on the regular. And uh, apparently it's in English and German, so neat. All right, let's get the rest of this out of here and see what we're actually working with. Huh, not bad foam, all things considered. All right, pull that out. Let's see what else is in here first. Oh, just power cable. Simple, standard type that plugs into a power supply on a computer. And if you're like me, you got two billion of those. So if you lose this one, it's not a big deal. All right. Let's take this off and see what we got going on. Okay. I like the finish on it. I really do. Now it takes handprints a little bit, but they're actually kind of evaporating pretty quick. Huh. Not a bad little finish. All right. Risk of electric shock, do not open. I might, I, I might ignore that later if you guys want me to. Just uh, leave in the comments if you want me to risk my life. All right, what we got going on? Okay, fan, turn the ozone on, turn the power on for the whole system. Adjust the interval and the timer. 
What's the difference between the interval and the timer? Don't know. Use an unoccupied space only. Note, please read manual before operating. <sighs> God, okay, all right. Uh, for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna pause this video, read the manuals to make sure I don't do anything stupid, come back with you with actual real information. I've actually read this now, and I can actually tell you what's going on. Probably should have done that beforehand. That's not how I roll. Okay, fan speed. It basically, you punch it and it cycles between six different fan speeds. Well, five technically, because it cycles back around right there. The ozone control. Press to select the right ozone output according to the room size and uh, air problems. There's a table on here to tell you what you should adjust it to. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I'd always go for uh, Aaron on the side of the less amount and just run it more than once if it doesn't take care of it just because of how much power this thing uses and I'll well, just, it's a new piece of technology, so start low and go slow. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully you guys can see that better than where I had it up there, which was kind of stupid to put it up there. Um, because I'm, for some reason, don't have my own camera centered the way I should and I forgot to turn on the lights. Well, I'm not happy with me being sick right now. Okay, let's get this done anyways. All right, for the actual timer, when the power is turned on, press the timer button. We'll cycle through one hour, two hour, four hour, so on and so forth, all the way to 12 hours, and then back around to zero. Um, whenever you plug this in and turn it on, it has a five second timer for you to hit another button to pause that timer to set your adjustments. Because if you don't, it'll automatically start with the default settings. And you don't kind of want to do that when it's like up in your face, like, Rawr! and get a bunch of ozone, ozone in your lungs. Not deadly, but it's not good for you either. All right, so here's a little chart. Come back and consult this whenever you want to make sure you're doing it right. The timer controls how long it'll go for. Once you've got it started and the timer set to where you want it to be set at, you can also set the interval of how often you want it to produce ozone. And you can have it set for to produce ozone for one hour every 12 hours, two hours for every 12 hours, or one hour for every 24 hours, or two hours for every 24 hours. So basically if you set this up, then it'll start whatever interval it's on if you selected one. And let's say I have a shed. I put this in, it starts and I set it to produce ozone for one hour every 12 hours. I come back in two days, it's done four ozone cycles and it's gotten rid of whatever lingering odor or anything else that I couldn't quite get up that was causing the smell. And that's basically it. Uh, the rest of it's warranty information, frequently asked questions in here. And yeah, every, whenever something starts giving you trouble, there's a ozone plates, that's what they're, okay. You might have to clean the ozone plates, make sure the whole thing's unplugged, turned off, open it up, Pop the ozone plates, scrub it with a scrubbing pads that doesn't leave any lint or anything else like that. Coffee filters I hear do really good for mechanics who have to do that, but they're using some sort of like felt pad here. Honestly, I think I like that without my background light. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm doing wrong with my background lights. All right, so either way, uh, there's also a pre-filter that's easy to pull out right here. It should just pop. And you just clean that out like you would a filter on like an AC or something, like one of those wall units. Put the mesh back on after you're done cleaning it out. Like I'd use an air gun to do it just for ease of use. Then you just push it all back in, put it back over the top, pop it back in. And there we have it. Also, let's just take off this little bit. There we go. All right, now we're going to transition again. Our first test, here we have my shed. Had a little bit of a smell coming from an animal that got stuck in here. We cleaned that up, but I didn't clean anything else up. So we're gonna see how it does with spiders and the lingering smell. Then we'll move into my house. Right. Now let's see what happens when we plug her in. All right, plug it in. All right, now let's turn her on. Hit power, the timer starts. We hit that and it resets the by a second start timer until it wanted to run for one hour when it activates and we we're going to tell it to do an interval there we go every 12 hours run for no oh and it'll, that five second timer will
sneak up on you if you're not careful. Run for uh, every 12 hours, you want it to run for one hour and it's set correctly. And be sure you have your settings right and get it out of your face. And if you don't know if you got your settings right, hit a button to reset the timer and then try to set it. Um, that's the only complaint I have so far is there's no way to uh, tell that timer to stay off completely. So if I did that correctly, it's going to run for an hour, then wait another 11 hours and then run for another hour. I'm gonna close these doors to lock it in here and we're gonna see how it does with the smell when cleaning up from the animal. Definitely hear it going and I can smell the same smell you get after a lightning strike. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. So we're gonna lock it in here. And I'll be back in probably tomorrow. And we'll see if it took care of the bad smell. I'll see how we're doing room. and if we've burnt anything down. So far, so good though. All right, moment of truth, everybody. Let's see if it even smells better. And it should be off from the cycle we set it on. It does smell better. Now they say that you're supposed to let it air out a little bit before you start working it in the area again. So I'm going to uh, uh, pack this all in and let it air out and I'll come out and do another ch uh, check. It's somewhere else, like inside an actual house. This is the bathroom that's in the workshop, and I recently gave it a little once-over, but it could use a little bit more cleaning, but what I really want to deal with right now is the smell. So, I'm going to set this up in here, get it to run for probably about an hour or two, then air it out, then check the smell, and then clean the rest of the way off. When I come back, it smells good in here, and it's going to be easier to clean up in here while dealing with the smell and hopefully we done something about those. I don't I don't know what that is. It's a buggly of some type. But the point is that apparently it's bad for biological material uh, to be subsumed in nothing but ozone. So it doesn't say anything about getting rid of pests on the package. I want to see if it will do it anyways. Also clean up in here when the smell's gone is gonna be great. Cause even though I cleaned it up in here, it's still a workshop bathroom. It is running. I set that up the basically the same way I did with the shed, only instead of doing an interval, I just told it to run for an hour. I didn't record that because I, because I got blasted in the face with it while I was recording, actually hitting the buttons the first time. So here we are, we're running. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on, and I'll see you in an hour. Let's see. Okay, it's aired out a little bit. Definitely smells better. It smells almost like fresh wood or pine. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. It smells, it smells a lot better. It smells almost like the wood's fresh. I have no idea what that means, if it's even from the ozone thing, but it smells better. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any damage from the ozone generator, which I know there's not supposed to be, but I'm always worried about that. Nothing got fire. Uh, honestly, gotta say, just for the smell alone, I might keep it on a timer for out here. Currently we're testing it in the house while I'm doing this, so yeah, I might bring that out here and just put it on a timer, see how that does. Now, I need to get rid of all those spiders and other bugs. Main mess is gone. So I guess it didn't make any more smell, and the ozone got rid of the lingering smell, so I'll take that any day of the week. I just no longer have an excuse not to finish cleaning it the rest of the way out. I don't like spiders. All right, let's go check out to see what's going on with the one inside the house. We've got like 15 more minutes before it's done. Yes, one of the videos coming up is gonna be different products to help get rid of spiders in your shed because I need an excuse to get rid of them. And just knowing it needs to get done isn't enough apparently. What's going on here? 
just walking down into the basement, I've got a well sanitized smell. So we're now in the workshop in the basement. We're gonna open up and see how it's going. I can already smell like a sanitary ozone smell. Uh, it was running for an hour. Let's see what we got going on. Whoa! That's it's got a gonna let that air out. That smell I just reacted to wasn't a bad one. It just smelled very chemically, like a clean swimming pool. And wow, uh, yeah, I went in there to uh, open up the vent so I could air it out. And just a little bit of time, it felt like it got blasted. So, uh, I'm gonna come back in a little bit once it's aired out and see how we're doing. Uh, the machine did turn off appropriately on its timer, though. We're back. I've actually removed the ozone machine real quick just so I can make sure it didn't activate while I was in the room. I unplugged it. Its tendency to activate five seconds after it's been plugged in means that if the power surges or whatever, it might turn itself back on. I'm not sure. Either way. I didn't want to take any risks because the stuff I've read on the ozone inhalation says it can actually cause issues. It's why you put this on the door and you make absolutely sure nobody's going to be in there. You're not going to have any pets in there. It's isolated and then it gets aired out. So let's check how we're doing. Okay, so the smell didn't come back even though I aired it out, which is good. It kind of smells like a clean pool in here. I don't know if that's good or bad. So, yeah, okay. Not getting any strong smells. And we cleaned up the major cause of the original smell, and it didn't come back after we... Oh, so, I'm going to call that good. All right. Also, working with a new camera, let me know how it looks, how derpy I look. And also, let me know how the volume is. It's supposed to be better on the pickup without the microphone and then be even better with the microphone. So, anyway, um, I'm going to do a quick overview of this over at the table and we'll be fine. I'm going to pull this off and let it air out some more. Just because the ozone and concentration is high enough can cause damage to humans, uh, we're going to let it air out some more, but so far the odor has not come back. So I'm going to call that a win. But also, because it is kind of dangerous, that's why they give you these. Make sure you lock out the area if you're going to be actually leaving it in there to purify. As you hopefully just got to see, uh, this actually performed pretty well. The outside, um, the outside shed test went pretty well. It did as it said. It got rid of the smell. It did not get rid of any of the bugs, but apparently that is something that I thought was a thing, and it's not. Also, it apparently does better if the place you're doing it to doesn't have a vent that you can't close like my shed did and I didn't realize. Uh, I don't think we got that on camera, but it's there. Um, I'll probably show that later, maybe. I don't know. It's late. I'm tired. And get over being sick. Second, the indoor test went pretty good. It smells gone. In fact, it smells almost aggressively clean. However, I did do some more research. Ozone? is has a similar effect basically as if the entire room was just sprayed with Lysol as in what it can do to damage uh, people or pets in the area. So make sure that it is signed, it is locked out from people who could get in who don't know better, you know like young kids, pets, etc. But it does do as advertised. It gets rid of the smell. It, the smell stays gone if you got rid of the original thing that caused the smell. And overall, it was relatively easy to use. The only thing I don't like about it is that if you plug it in and hit the power button, and you don't hit any of these other buttons, in five seconds, it'll turn on and start producing ozone. Well, if you are in that area and you don't realize that's happening, that can cause a major problem. So if you're not using it, have it unplugged. Besides that, it's working as intended. It seems to be a decent product. The only real maintenance you have to do is to pop this off, like I showed over on the overhead. You pop it off, it's pretty easy. Get your fingers to work. Okay, you did it easy until I said you were easy. There we go. There. Pops off. Supposedly easy. It was easier than that last time. You clean that on a regular basis. 
if you're starting to have major issues, their support ticket line might have you just assemble this to clean the actual ozone plate. But unless they tell you to, do not open this. It's like any major electronic thing. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. Um, but besides that, I like the look of it. I like how portable it is. I like the way it works. I, like, I really like the effect it had on the smell, both in the shed where we had an animal get in and in the bathroom where it's a workshop bathroom and people tend to uh, use it and not care about taking care of, of the smelly business. It got rid of the smell and it didn't come back even though I removed this and spent a few hours with the vents on, it still smells clean in there. Whenever I went in there to, to turn this off and vent it, uh, you're probably going to want to have a way to open up the windows without being in the room with the ozone for very long because that can be slowly damaging to you. I had to open up the door, flip on the uh, vent, and then later come back and unplug it. This thing did turn off when it was supposed to, so there is that. So overall, I like the product. I'm glad it works. I'm glad it works as advertised. There's a few things I wish that they would fix, one of which is automatically starting after five seconds. It should be, you hit a button to turn it on, you set the timer, and then you hit another button to confirm your selection, and then it starts a timer. The fact that the timer starts since it's plugged in and the power button's hit is going to cause some issues. I just, I know how people are, it's going to cause some issues. Besides that, I really like this and I'm probably gonna actually continue to use it on different cleanup projects. So I've got another shed out there that is for my lawn care tools and that shed has actually had a leak in it that's caused some mold to grow. So I'm going to repair the hole, remove the mold, and replace anywhere that the mold's got with fresh wood. And then I'm going to use this to get rid of the lingering mold smell. It's actually useful if you have places like that where you need to clean out a smell that's lingering and you've gotten rid of the uh, culprit for the smell that you can find. It's really good for that. So in short, good product. I like it. It's definitely worth the money if this is something that works for your use case. Don't buy it unless it is going to be good for your use case. I'm going to have situations where this is going to be amazing for my use case. So I'm glad to have it. And if this works for your use case, like this sounds like this is going to be good for your uh, use case, buy it. I really liked it for what it was. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Hope to see you on the next one. And you guys have a good one. Stay safe out there. Wait, what do you mean that's the, that is the Wi-Fi version? Um, you can't have me something that simple, can I? I'm here, Ascension Cord. So, um, this thing comes with an app. The app is on their website, and there's also supposed to be a little pamphlet in there that has a directions on how to grab it. Um, if you need it, just go to their website under the product, and then you will have a link for the app. I somehow completely missed that, and only got corrected when um, somebody I sent the video to to give me their thoughts and opinion on it told me, yeah, that's the Wi-Fi version. Why didn't you show off any Wi-Fi stuff? Um, I don't know. Maybe because I'm stupid. So, I've downloaded the app. I'm going to try to plug this in and use it without blasting myself in the face of ozone. And first I got to register for it. Alright, we got the app. After you do the normal app registration stuff, you get to here. We're going to hit add, uh, well, it got it. And then we're going to add device there or up there. Add device. And we got Wi-Fi ozone generator. And we have to give it some permissions. Select network and enter your password. Well, I'm gonna do that off camera, but it shows select network, enter your password.
All right, we're going to reset the device by power on the device. I'm hoping that they just do by plugging it in. Turn the green, the screen lights up. So we're going to turn this on. We're going to hit the timer button so it doesn't automatically click over and O's on our face. And then as soon as it's powered on and the screen lights up, we can hit that and then next. Okay, power. Hit that. We're going to keep tapping that. From screen light up. Adding device. Scanning, and it'll automatically scan for devices. Ah, Jesus Christ, it tried to ozone me in the face. Um, the, it's like, ensure the device is powered on. I'm like, I, it is. Um, scanning for devices, and it's not doing anything. Okay, so I think I figured out what the problem was I was having. Um, there are multiple Wi-Fi things in this area just because of how uh, closely grouped together the houses are where I live. So it pro this probably auto-connected to a different 2.4 network than the one that this, what I picked on here. So turn this on with the power button. Then I'm going to hold down the fan on the ozone. That'll reset its connection to any network. So we're going to power on, hold those two down, and turn it on. We're going to hit the Smart Wi-Fi thing. Oh, we're gonna turn our password again. Ooh, sweet. It worked this time. So I did the correct thing. It just accidentally joined the wrong uh, network because there's too many around here. So I reset that. And as soon as I got the this hooked up to the Wi-Fi on here again, because I had to reset it on here too. Bam, we're good. Make sure you guys are actually seeing that. So I ended up doing the right thing to fix this. That accidentally connected to the wrong Wi-Fi network. So what I had to do is reset this and that by holding down the fan and ozone button. And then as soon as I got back on and turned this on and the ozone generator, and then turned the ozone generator back off so it doesn't blast me in the face, I was able to connect. Device added successfully. So we're gonna go up to done. It'll think for a second. There's an initial password that comes in your manual. So we've got this going on here. And you can control just about everything. Room size, si uh, single or on a cycle, pollutants, which I think would control the... Whether or not it... Oh, neat. You can select which pollutants are in the room. Then when you select, uh, select the pollutants, it'll ask you... Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Okay, so you do pollutants and you uh, check fan speed, ozone output, fan speed, cycle single, and then you know, draft setting. And this will tell you what you have already selected and you can save it. And if you like it, you can, before the space is empty, blah, 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 confirm the space is empty before starting ozone treatment. Ozone is harmful to humans and pets. You just confirm, and it'll start. Oh, geez. And then you can, that started fast. And then you can hit the stop here and control it. So the setting I had on there that I selected was manual mode, um, ozone output 8G, which I think is the highest setting, uh, fan speed all the way up. It was going to do two hours once a day. There you go. So just... We're going to, so what we can do is go back, select your room size or pollutants. So basically you start making your settings by deciding which one of these three you want to start from, and then it'll take you to the next screen. So you want a large room. Oh, it's saying that before you can change the settings on here like that, you need to actually manually turn off the box so you don't accidentally set things up in a dangerous way. So, okay. So, all right, we logged out of it manually. Now, we started that one by checking the room size and it'll give us suggested settings and you can check them over here. If you like them, hit save and then hit start. And you, from here, you can, all sorts of neat stuff, you know, fan speed, cycle, whatever. 
and you can control and I think you can even schedule them from here but I've not figured out how to do that yet but you can control the whole thing from here so you don't have to be in the same room and blast yourself in the face like I did so this fixes every single one of the problems I had the only issue is getting it set up in the first place if you're not paying attention you can accidentally blast yourself in the face like I almost did but I'm hoping y'all are smarter than I am. It's not hard to be smarter than me, so wish y'all the best. Either way, that's it for that. I hope that wasn't too incoherent. I'm gonna try to edit that down into something coherent so we can post it as quickly as possible. Now, whenever I go to use that later, I can do it in an actual safe way and not the way I thought I had to do it. So in short, sorry for the fake out when it comes to the uh, end of the video. I thought we were done. Turns out we weren't. Sorry. But we are done this time. So you guys have a good one. Stay safe out there.